We're in a series called Amazing Stories, and this last Sunday we spent some time going through Hebrews 11 with a little bit of Hebrews 10, a little bit of Hebrews 12. And in those passages, the writers of Hebrews are challenging us to put our trust in a sure thing, and that is Jesus Christ. This sure thing, this this one who has promised that he will never leave us or forsake us, is going to help us to persevere through no matter what's coming our way. And Hebrews 11 really is a testimony. In Hebrews 12, it calls it the great cloud of witnesses. But Hebrews 11 is a testimony of men and women like you and me over the years who have put their trust and their hope and their faith in Christ and who have been met and who have been delivered and who have been uh, restored in some situations, but in every situation they've had the Holy Spirit and they've had Jesus with them, never leaving them or abandoning them. And it made me think about uh, when we're going through something very challenging, and you read through Hebrews 11, and man, there's stories of persecutions and there's stories of you know people not ever receiving what they would hope to have received, but in the middle of all of that we see they have gone through the very valley of the shadow of death, like it talks about in Psalm 23. And maybe it didn't, the rescue didn't come immediately or the deliverance didn't happen in the timely frame that they were hoping that it did. But what did happen is that they had peace that was beyond circumstance. They had endurance to be able to go through the the difficulties that they were battling. They had perseverance that allowed them to stand firm in the face of, of everything in their life falling apart. And they had confidence that the one who had begun the good work inside of them, Jesus Christ, is going to accomplish that. And uh, over these last weeks, as our, our world has had elements of it that are at war with Russia declaring war on Ukraine. I've had the opportunity to be in touch with friends who are in Ukraine, who are in Kiev, who are trying, you know, not excited about being in war, but who are asking, please be praying for us. Please continue to lift us up. Continue to pray that we will be bold. Continue to pray that we will stand firm for Christ. Continue to pray that we will we will not be afraid. Continue to pray that we will trust God with our families. And when you're several thousand miles away and there's nothing you can do about it, you find yourself calling upon the one who actually can. I've been praying for my friend Alexander, I've been praying for his wife, Katrin, I've been praying for my friend Sergey, I've been praying for my friend Dimitri. <coughs> and in all of that, I can trust and know, as I'm hearing testimonies from them, that God is meeting them with peace and with confidence and with perseverance and they know that Jesus is with them in the middle of the difficulty and that encourages me because our faith is made for times of storm and challenge our faith is made for times like this and the story that we get to tell on the other side of it is a wonderful thing and we get to celebrate it but when we're going through the middle of it it's not always fun but we can always be sure Jesus is right there with us and he's not going anywhere he's a sure thing God bless you. Hope you have a great rest of your week.